I, I called it magic before, and I, I do still think of it as magic. But it's a learnable magic, and the important thing is when you learn what the, what the materials can do, the, that's not the important thing. Competence is not important. Um, what's important is what you do with competence, to share your own experiences and, and to give some insight into your own world because I'm the only one that knows that world and, and um, I find other people's worlds very fascinating. I, you know, the, that eternal curiosity of what's, what's it like being someone else. But that's what great art does. It, it ushers you into another life, uh, someone else's life, whether it's in paintings or in music or literature or whatever, filmmaking. You suddenly forget who you are and you become them, and I think that's magic. these big empty basins and wide open spaces and so on, I, it just somehow um, affected me hugely. And when I was well away from New Zealand and Britain, I used to dream about it. And I, I was terribly homesick for it. It's why I paint really. Um, and I feel very privileged to be here. Going to work and shutting the door on the world has, has always been something I've really loved. And I still do. It's something that they don't teach you. Art schools don't cover this, you know. But it doesn't suit everybody. A lot of people can't stand the isolation. They're sort of class dependent. Numbers, company, sociability. I'm exactly the opposite. Um, I, I love my solitary life. I often call the studio solitary confinement, but I, I say it uh, happily. And as uh, my old friend Don Binney once said to me, if most other people, go when they go to work, they go to other people. Don said, when I go to work, I meet Don Binney at the studio door. And unless you can stand that, you're stuffed. <laughs>